What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Textful Goodies, and today we are looking at the Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo. Now, this is a multicolor printer that allows you to print up to four colors at a time, so you can basically have four different filaments, and you can have a wide range of different filaments. We'll sort of go over all that, all the specs here in a few minutes. I'll show you these examples here on the table so that you can kind of see what I've printed out or what I've tried. I've kind of gone up in stages to get used to it and talk about the benefits of this kind of printer. So starting off, the unboxing was super easy. These types of printers tend to come almost fully prepared. And I've talked to you in the past about the fact that I had an old 3D printer, a DIY one that took so long because I had to hook everything up, the cords, the cables, the belts, the drives, all that kind of stuff. This was pretty much a snap. It was just basically, you know, opening the box, putting it on the counter, and then starting to assemble the small little pieces. Obviously, we had to remove some of the packaging from the inside and some of the supports from the inside that protect the things during shipping. So I had to install the dryer on the top. There's actually a filament dryer on the top that holds all the filament and then feeds it back down into the machine. And that dryer is important because having dry filament means you're going to get a better print. And then we went ahead and sort of added the filaments. They provided four filaments for us also to try out. So we added those to the machine and hooked up to the normal tubes and all that kind of stuff. And then sort of set up the printer uh, within the nice touch screen that they have. The way you can print to this is actually putting in removable media with your actual 3D files, or you can connect to it from your PC or phone from their iPhone app or their Okta slicer based printing app on your computer. So let's take a look at a couple of these prints. So as you all know, I always start with the Benchy. Not everyone does, but I do because I like to see the quality. So here is a very close up of the quality of the print. I was really impressed. You can see, you know, very, very small layer lines right here. And as far as the small details here, like the arch and the top of the roof, all look really nice. So with the Benchy, I think that it's sort of something that gives you the idea of what the printer will eventually do. And then I went to the next step. I didn't do multicolor right away. I just wanted to start to get some ideas. I printed this vase. So the idea behind this vase was to kind of get something that didn't have any supports and that you could actually functionally use in your house if you wanted to. Uh, maybe not in this blue color, but uh, any color you want. And then see what kind of surface detail you could end up getting with something like this and how it would look on uh, like your shelf or something like that. So this turned out really nice and really solid. Next thing I wanted to do was print out something with the black PLA. So this was something that had a lot of detail, had supports, um, and was very delicate and intricate. So here it is. You can see that I printed out this cat figurine, right? And it's got all these sort of filigree patterns, swirly patterns on the outside. And it turned out really well, like way beyond my expectations. So that was giving me a lot of confidence in the machine. So then I did this guy, check it out. This little floppy guy right here. So I'm gonna put it down on the table at first, right? So the thing with this guy is it's one continuous print, multicolor, different color eyeballs, all that kind of stuff. And I can sort of give you a close up of it here in a second. So here he is, right? And these all print, it literally prints just down like this, all the legs straight out. And then when you pull it up, all these joints are connected. It's like a print in place type, a type of thing. So then you basically have just this little toy that's like, I think super cool. If you want to, one of the hardest parts for 3D printers is doing a uh, surface like this. You can see where it comes up at a slight angle and then ends up at the top of like a, a dome. And so you can kind of see the layer lines up there, but that I don't think is the fault of the printer. This actually looks a lot better than most printers. It might be the fault of me and my printer settings. Tweaking those settings would actually get you um, some better layer lines. So across the board, you know, all these different things here really were completely impressive and, and came out nice. So talking about some of the like features of the 3D printer, there are a couple of things I wanna make sure I just sort of drill home to you. One is that top part is that drying chamber. A lot of 3D printers will just have the filament on the outside and won't worry about it. They'll expect you to dry it separately. This one will actually dry it before it prints to make sure it's at the optimal humidity for printing. And that's super important to get good prints. 
Like I said, it is multicolor. You can put four colors in there and it'll automatically switch between them as it's printing. Like for example, every layer line, you know, it's gonna switch between gray, blue, and black on this particular guy. And then down here, you just got the black and the gray. So that will automatically happen. It'll automatically flush on the outside. And one of the issues I've told you before with 3D printing in multicolors that there's a there's flush out, right? And then you'll have a little bit of wasted PLA, but that's just part of it. So this has real time adjustable flush settings, which will help you sort of adjust that and how much is flush between each change. What I really liked about this was that it's fully enclosed, meaning it's, it's gonna be a lot quieter because it's fully enclosed and then everything's on the inside. It's a 250 by 250 by 250 build volume, 250, 250 by 250 by 250. So whenever you're printing something, as long as it fits within that build volume, then you're good. It also has the ability for you to change the speed of how fast things print. It'll go up to 600 millimeters per second, which is their ultra fast printing and high precision printing. Or if you're finding that you want, you have like a really delicate or intricate thing, you can bring the print speed down to make sure it's getting all those little nooks and crannies. So looking over here at a couple more things, uh, they do have quiet operation. They have 46 dB standard and 44 dB silent. So a lot of times these printers will be really loud, but having the, this enclosed, like I said, is, is a real benefit. So their iPhone app and their PC app, they have an online library. And then this actually, I think where I got one of these things, I can't remember which one I got there, but you can use their online library. If you just wanna use your phone, browse through that library, click it, print, and let it go, 